Oh, there's a boss. Let's do it. Oh gosh, blown up. Oh, that is crazy. I love the night vision on this AC-130. We're going to run into that building, by the way. Oh my gosh. No. Boom. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Damien, and welcome back to another GTA 5 mod showcase. Today we're checking out the AC-130 mod. This mod allows you to take control of an AC-130 that's equipped with a deadly arsenal to completely decimate everyone in GTA. This mod is actually really crazy guys. So let's see if we can take one second to smack that like button. Let's aim for over 100 plus likes on this video. Also don't forget to take one second to leave a comment down below, suggest a map for me a spotlight, or just leave a friendly comment down below and I might feature your comments on my next video. Anyways guys, let's get started with today's mod map so first things first these people are really annoying me get out of here fool oh gosh you know what's the best way of taking out people besides a gun to the face it's using the ac-130 so to call in our ac-130 you basically hit l on your keyboard to call that in so now it's ac-130 inbound and oh my gosh here we are completely spawned into it all right so as you can see we have like night vision on and we to turn that off you basically hit a on your keyboard a or q and uh, you can swap between thermal, night vision, and of course the normal vision. And uh, as you can see, I spawn relatively close to you know my location on the map, but we really have no control over the AC-130 itself. So guys, to shoot bullets in our AC-130, basically just you know left click. Of course, uh, that looks super awesome. But like I was saying, of course, the camera itself is not you know as awesome as you think it would be. But in the future, hopefully they have an update for it. So guys, like I was mentioning, you can basically use the left mouse button to rain fire from above and completely decimate everyone in your path. Oh my gosh, that is like the best feature ever. And um, to switch cameras, actually, when you're in your AC-130, you can go ahead and um, hit T on your keyboard to switch sides. It's probably not even better than the side we're on, but uh, sometimes it's actually really good because, you know, the AC-130, like I mentioned, you have no control over it, so it kind of turns and twists as you go. Now one thing to mention is that the AC-130 is actually indestructible, so even if it hits a mountain, it would not blow up, and it does adjust its elevation accordingly. Alright, so let's go ahead and blow up that car. Oh my gosh, check that out. He is completely dead now. Oh gosh, that is so bad. We're completely killing innocent people here. Now we also have three different weapons, as this is AC-130, we have the 105mm, the 40mm, and the 25 Now if you guys did not notice so far, this AC-130 is basically based off the one from MW2, and it does have the same sound effects. So to switch your weapons, you basically hit E on your keyboard, and you can switch to our 40mm, which is a much higher uh, kind of fire rate, but it does have smaller explosions. But the explosion still does its job. Check that out, guys. We're completely decimating that car down there. Not to mention, we have a huge range on it, but uh, in addition to that, we also have like gravity and bullet drop, meaning that if I shoot like all the way out there, you can see that it lands like a lot closer to me than you would expect. So basically, just take that into account when you're kind of trying to kill people, of course. There's a guy in his backyard trying to enjoy his meal. I'm completely like shooting explosive at him. That is crazy. Look at that. Look at those people. Oh my gosh, you're completely dead now. Oh, I'm sorry. You chose the wrong day to hang out in your own property. All right, so we also have the... 25 millimeter and the 25 millimeter is basically like a chain gun and it has explosive bullets So let's go ahead and activate this and check it out guys. Oh my gosh, that is crazy Oh, did you see all the water coming from the pool? Oh gosh, that is that is just insane. That is insanity I can't even emphasize how crazy this is guys. You need to download this and try it out for yourself. Look at that It is knocking away all of the cars now um, We also have a cinematic mode and you can go ahead and activate that by hitting R on your keyboard and uh, yeah, this, this doesn't work that well. Sometimes it works, but basically it puts down a stationary camera that looks at your AC-130 at a random location in your map. But since we're like at an elevated peak, it's putting the camera on the opposite side of the mountain. So as you can see, uh, when we hit R there, it doesn't even show anything. But if like you're in a city or something, you have a chance of possibly seeing your AC-130 from the ground. And I keep, I keep hitting the button because, you know, sometimes the camera changes as we travel along in the map. Now, the night vision and the thermal vision are pretty much useless because I mostly play in daytime and considering that we have the native trainer and mods, I just keep it daytime all the time. But if you guys want to see it at nighttime, you could go ahead and just switch it to um, that particular time. So let's go, get, go ahead and go backwards. So now, guys, it is nighttime. So let's test out the thermal vision. All right, guys, there we go. There's a bunch of people down there. Let's go ahead and shoot some bullets at them. Oh, gosh, look at that. The explosions even show up on the thermal vision. That is crazy. Oh, they're completely getting destroyed. That is so cool. Check it out. Oh, gosh. 
I'm so sorry, man. And we also have night vision over here, so let's go ahead and switch to that. And oh my gosh! Night vision looks so cool in AC-130. Now we can completely kill everyone. Look at this. Oh gosh, that is so cool. Die! Oh, oh gosh. Come on, it reloads so slow. That is so cool.